the madman. It's truly the fate of Hearthstone for me to do well at this deck because I've rolled the quest Warrior Dominance. I think today is our graduation day from Fatigue Warrior. We'll just go ahead and go 5 0 easy peasy right now. Sometimes we'll get unlucky. We can't keep that against Token. Do I keep rolling against Token? No, that's not good enough. This hand, uh, could definitely be token druid. I think jade druid can always be defeated. My goal for this session is to play confidently in a way that you guys can appreciate and not lampoon for once. Get out the Blood Razor this turn. The next turn I can play Acolyte. I also take the damage for the Battle Ridge. Sure, rank 10. Halfway through the season. But. It is while learning what is. Probably the toughest deck to learn in the meta, or in the game, maybe in the entire history of the game. It's one of those things where, it, and it's one of the game, uh, one of the decks that takes the longest time to play. But I suspect this will all be worth it when this deck uh, is actually on the level of Patron Warrior post rotation. That's um, my guess. Six, I'll go up to nine cards. Okay. That's a lot of draw. So if I simply use this, I'm going to draw one card. So I can't Whirlwind to draw a card. We actually have to draw fewer cards since we're doing so well. So it looks like it's Slam Hit Whirlwind Hit, which is an interesting order. Well, the opponent sure has a lot of mana. So on 8, I'm almost certainly playing Garrosh. On this turn, I have to play a card. I'd want to save the Whirlwind for a dead man's. I should play Blood Razor, I suppose. My options are a little bit limited due to having a full hand, but I mean, I can still make fine plays. Having the Whirlwind effect for free is useful for the Fishes Battle Ridge, potentially. We want to save one execute, but using the first one on a 5 5 is fine. Jades are only at 2 2 right now. I should probably use Battle Rage since it would be very difficult to 1 draw more cards out of it, 2 to actually draw more cards out of it since my hand is full. So using the mana cycle is better than armoring up. Especially since I have a Cold Light in hand. Here's the shuffle, and then I'll want to uh, get to the Geist quickly. Alright, Garrosh looking pretty good here. I'm not sure if this is a misposition by him. Let's see, how else could he have positioned it? My 
So this is a very similar problem to the uh, video in which I re reviewed myself, in which I'm drawing the skulking guys to late, and then he gets to use the jade idols. Oof. So that's an extra two jade idols that he's gotten use out of. Then uh, normally I would let him. So we can do fishes, fishes to clear, or we can do the brawl. Fishes will soon be worthless. Two, four, six. He only has one jade idol left, so he would always shuffle that last one. So I should probably play Cold Light. We're going to aim to keep Dead Man's Hand, Cold Light Oracle, Dead Man's Hand, bring it on, and then execute into the final shuffle. Behold, the rage of the hmm. That's one more Jade Idol. So, his Jades are three more than usual if I would gotten Skulking Geist earlier. Which is, uh, not good for me, but we do have a Brawl at least. Good thing he didn't draw another Jet Idol there, because then he could have played it and shuffled again. Which would have sucked. And then probably shield block. Next jade is an 8, so I should be able to kill the jade with the slam, the whirlwind, and the whirlwind. And with the acolyte of pain, I can draw most of the rest of the deck. Oh man, that positioning. Oops. Two, five, six, eight. There's my uh, skulky guy, finally. I'm almost out of cards. Uh, I should get out this guy, gal. Either she takes a swipe, or she does one damage so I can execute. We're nearing our optimal hand. Hold that oracle, bring it on, execute, and two dead man's hands. Having him use four mana on the swipe is good for me. I'm out of cards. With him only at four mana left, uh, using it to bring it on seems good. If I just play public defender and bring it on. Yeah, that should be fine. I don't want to shuffle two copies in. Okay. It's gonna be painful, but it'll have to be done. Oh, swipe. So I know, uh, he still has Aya, which is a big problem. I haven't seen any, um, Jade Spirits yet, but I just realized he does run Mire Keeper, which probably replaced. be a good graduation game. It's like, ah, I finally managed to play near perfectly against Jade Druid. We don't want to get two bring it ons in our deck because 
Bring It On is, at its core, a card disadvantage card. We can't bog down our deck that much. So, 3, 5, 7, 9. Example, if we had two Bring It Ons in the deck, we might not have drawn the Execute here. Soon I'm going to stop shuffling the Bring It On, but I'm going to shuffle one more copy in. Situation 1, I draw Execute Dead Man's Hand. Uh, then I can 2 mana, Whirlwind, Oracle, 5. Uh, Dead Man's Hand, 7, Execute, 9. I would shuffle in 2 copies of Bring It On, which is too many. So I don't even want to do that. Even in the case that I draw Execute Dead Man's Hand, I don't want to play that particular line. Also, this doesn't matter if it's at 2 or 1, so I might as well start with it. I'm probably going to be playing Bring It On this turn. I, have th I haven't seen Aya yet, so that has got to be killed. So I think on this turn I don't actually use all my mana. We'll just do that, and that's fine. So 3-1 eventually gets taken out by Whirlwinds. Or by... okay. I have to consider the final rush as well. Like, maybe I can't go infinite. Maybe I need to kill the opponent. Uh, they're taking 5 plus 6 next, 11. If I can play 2 Cold Light Oracles, 5, 6, 7, 8 is... 26? So if I can play 2 Cold Light Oracles, I win. So I have a 66% chance of winning right now if I want to take it immediately. Alternatively, though, I'm only taking 9 damage, and I'm at... Yeah, so I'm, I always win. So this is good. I must choose. So we don't have to rush for it. What now? I, using the last dead man's hand there to increase my chance of drawing Cold Light Oracle would have been slightly good. Missed two damage on the uh, Drake, but it doesn't matter. So I have a 66% chance of drawing Cold Light Oracle. And even if I don't draw it, I still win, so it's all good. But can I maximize the chances? No, I think 66 is as good as it gets, pretty much. We'll take it. I'm out of cards. So finally we got a game where the guys was like on the bottom half, and the opponent ramped like crazy, and we still won. That feels pretty good. Right, we like uh, matching up against Shaman. Scourge Lord Garrosh is basically the card that wins the game against this deck. Slightly tempted to play Cold Light Oracle just to get a 2 2 on the board. It gives him cards, but is that really that important? It actually might be good to give him cards since it increases his chances of drawing patches. Yeah, let's go for it.
So if I were to play Cold Light Oracle, I could only draw one card, which is not quite uh, good enough here. I have to block instead, I guess. Yeah, I'm at nine cards, so next turn I'm gonna be at ten. What now? Hmm. Nobody, no problem. This hand sucks. I need a whirlwind effect. I think I just need to play the uh, defender out there in order to free up some hand space. So Bloodlust will deal 5, 7, 10, 25 damage to me. I'd rather that not happen, but not much I can do about it with this hand. Cycling for the uh, deal one to all card, Whirlwind or Bloodraiser, or Brawl. That's fine, casual uh, whatever amount of damage that is. It's fine, it's fine. Everything got put in the sleep of the fish's range, huh? The sleep of the fishes is a really good card, so I should just avoid the six. Next turn we've got Scourge Lord Garrosh. So if I use Scourge Lord Garrosh, the opponent will have 2 4 damage on the board. Uh, with Bloodlust, that's 10. I'm at 17, so that's fine. It's actually pretty good against Shadow Mourn. That all with just whirlwind. I would like to battle rage, uh, so I should play dirty rat. I have the execute. I was thinking about if I need to keep execute. Probably not necessary. I'll whirlwind f once first. So two, four, five, seven, nine is the plan. Okay, that doesn't want to get executed, so I'll just Battle Rage twice. I must choose. Yeah, I have enough health. I was thinking about if I needed to uh, bring it on, but I don't need to yet. Opponent's Jade is at three next. Smith to gain a little bit of armor. Um, 
So I just need to make sure to shuffle my blood razors in. Uh, this is looking pretty good. With the opponent only having that few cards left in the hand. I guess there's Doppelgangster. I think I'll shuffle Brawl in one time. Now maybe I'll shuffle Sleep. Yeah, Sleep is basically equal to Brawl. But we've definitely got this one. Okay. Using the idea that the Brawl isn't that useful since, uh... I mean, just because it isn't. We'll leave that up. The Fisher should be big enough to deal with whatever he's got moving forward. Those are pretty bad evolves. Yeah, it looks good. Perfect. Herein lies the slight problem of, uh, shuffling and executes. Well, I definitely don't want to shuffle enough sleep with the fishes, since I still have one in the deck and have this many executes. So we're going to mainly single target stuff down, moving forward. Oh my gosh, I almost played Dead Man's Hand. That would have been pretty bad. I'm actually at a really high amount of health, so I should just play Bring It On. And count on never needing to bring it on again. That's fine. So moving forward, uh, the game plan is going to be pretty much have a very small hand of just Cold Light Oracles. I'm almost out of cards. Hmm, last card is Dead Man's Hand. Do we want to shuffle execute back in the deck one more time? Now I know it seems strange to uh, consider executing this card, but it is a random 4 drop. It's certainly not going to draw my cards. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll hold it one more time. Some people are criticizing uh, not shuffling in bring it on into the deck, but in some matchups where you clearly have stabilized and you have removal every single turn, you don't want bring it on in your deck. Uh, as it will weaken your overall draws. What now? Until the 5 cost instead of the 4 cost. Darn, didn't draw the cold light. So I do want to keep the uh, Execute around, but he's going to get us a random 7 drop. I guess that's fine. 7 drops aren't that great. And I think we want to yet again keep both the fishes and the Execute for flexibility. The next turn I'm going to probably throw away one of the sleep or the execute before the other dead man's hand. 
and then we're going to turbo him out with the cold light oracles. Let's see, he's probably done throwing out multiple things, so the thing we're going to throw away is Sleep at the Fishes this time around, so we'll shuffle the Executed. But not the Fishies, so we can cycle our deck faster. Against Thrall, who only has one big unit each turn moving forward, that should be correct. I was about to be like, oh crap, I didn't expect a Nixia, but oh right, we have this. It's fine. Okay, I did make uh, one common misplay the last game, which I didn't catch. I'll need to play Dead Man's Hand and then Cold Light Oracle. Wait a second. Oh, sorry, I mean bring it on into Cold Light Oracle. So the other way around. Hmm. And Buffalin. Okay. Play that one while it doesn't die in one hit, I suppose? It does die in two hits, though. Not on my So far not facing much pressure. I'm going to want to do the slam for the extra spell damage. And I think I want to keep Thalnos around, uh, so I'm going to not immediately attack. So this threatens that, so this might go here, but then that's good. Alright. So it is probably a getaway Kodo, which is annoying, but what can you do? I guess he buffed two Serenite Chain Gang with his first one. I thought about whether or not to play Public Defender to guard the Geist. I don't think it was, uh, I don't think it's a big deal to do so. It lets him trade in 4 attack instead of the 3-4. That's actually fine for me. Oh, is that it for his turn? Wow. So, probably something coming turn 8. So we'll probably only draw 1, but okay. Let's 
See how many cards this buffs. All five. I'm getting enough time though, that everything should be fine. I might have to consider copying a brawl the first time around. Everything's going very smoothly though. I'll uh, do a fishy here. I actually don't even need to... I potentially don't need to break that, if I'm willing to... No, I really should. Oh, interesting. I was gonna fish you, but might as well just use this. Oh, crap. Oh, that is not good. Alright, the good news is the size of the minions getting plus two plus- Okay, that's actually not good. I know he has one Serenite Chain Gang in his hand. Our Fishy will clear almost all of it. No, I guess we should just brawl here. No, but the Fishies is not going to do enough to the Chain Gang, so I'll need hard removal for that, but I have Executes. No, I, th I feel like we need to copy a Brawl once. This hand's pretty good. I don't want to copy two Bring It Ons into the deck, but we are copying two Cold Lights, so... Alright, fine. I must choose. That's okay, I didn't really want to kill whatever was left anyways, probably. Wow, you played really light there. Alright, three, five, seven. And then guess I bring it on for him. Oh no, I messed up again! Yeah, did I? I can, uh, I can save up. I can say I didn't mess up if I say I planned to play the Execute. So it was all planned. Two fish, two four. I don't want more fishes. We already have two in the deck. Uh, two four, and then okay. So I will play. Bring it on first before getting them to draw these cards. We actually don't have to uh, hit with the weapon. It's only four damage on the table. I could just play this and then play two cold lights. That's bringing it on right there. Actually, we should bring it on again. While well, he's got, like, the least cards he'll ever have. I must choose. Yeah, this looks good. Keep saving this weapon. 
I think he's uh, very intimidated by the weapon at the moment. I'm happy if you play Spike Ridge Steed, because that's a very low uh, damage to mana ratio. Basically, that deck can't put on enough pressure to really threaten me at all, is the idea here. You definitely want to save the brawl for something really, really good. So on this turn, I'm still not going to brawl. So I can get some damage in on this thing. We want to not draw that many cards. I guess we want a dead man's man. Yeah, that was good. We want the brawl. One sleep with the fishes. Probably okay. No real need to execute because that wants to get caught in the brawl. The opponent's got some really strong cards in their hand at some point. Now I'll execute that. seems good enough here. What I do know he has got some really, really big Serenite Chain Gangs coming up. But alright, that's big enough. Uh, I think we'll do Bring It On Cold Light. Keep trying to draw towards the brawl. I've got multiple fishies, so I can go wide, and I've also got execute for a big. Follow the rules. Out of my jungle. So we're trying to go for. What are we going for here? Zero mana 10-10 ten, is pretty good. We want either both executes, or I guess the brawl will do. But we want to shuffle the brawl. I guess this is the last brawl I'll do. So in the future, it's going to be all executes. I have another bring it on in the deck, and I have another one in my hand, so I think it's bring it on cold light here. Shit again. Drew the dead man's hand so I can finally get the execute back in the deck. We want to get rid of our sleep with the fishes. might want to shuffle both executes into the deck the first time around because his uh, amount of threats they're gonna be huge if I did cold light first I'd be able to shuffle the roll back yeah but the problem is if a 10-10 survived I needed to execute it all right so he's taking it light uh, probably because he knows I have a bunch of AOE so I don't want sleep with the fishes to be in this deck that's uh, problem number one. So I think the play is fish, fish, hero power, execute, dead man. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. My hand will be cold light. Execute, execute. Uh, well, I can shuffle in two or one execute. I'll shuffle in two execute. I must choose. Fish. Fish. Two, two, two. Enter. Okay, fine, I agree. It would have been better to send the one into that and then like maybe use the weapon and then be able to kill that middle one. Reporting for duty. 
If, if that's eye for an eye, I've actually never taken eye for an eye fatigue damage before. But that's actually going to be a thing, I think. So, I should be fine. The next time you take damage, which is three. Yeah. Just need to make sure I wasn't going to die to fatigue there. Like, if he had eye for an eye. Nice weapon I have. The weapon dissuaded him from making a lot of plays. If I go two more in a row, I'll have gone five and zero with the deck. Easiest quest of my life. All right, priest. You can do it. Okay, the rat's really good. Uh, I am going to play it next turn. It could be Big Priest. So I'm actually going to play Cold Light Oracle, I guess. Uh, the only reason to play a rat is to prevent Coin Kazakis. Okay, it's not Big Priest, so I'll go ahead and play Dirty Rat. If I play Cold Light Oracle, he actually burns for one right now. That's kind of good. Because sometimes they burn a card and then they lose the game. In this matchup. There's like three cards I can burn, which will be a severe advantage. That's not one of them. Oh, Shadow Word Horror. I wonder if I should have taken the one card with the Acolyte. Mm, that's too bad. Let me change your mind. All right, that deck normally doesn't have uh, this many minions out, so Brawl is unusually good here. keep the whirlwind and the armor smith around so that if I draw battle ridge when I draw battle ridge uh, I get to actually do stuff Five seven seems good. Oh, cold light. It is very tempting, uh, but in this matchup, I do need to dead man's hand cold light. Or do I? I'm burning two cards. That's really good. Hmm. Can I win the game without cold light oracle in my deck? Yeah, absolutely, I can. It'll just take longer, but it still works. I can't I can't pass up this opportunity. It's too good. My hand is full. You never get to mill two cards. Really. My hand is full. Mm. I mean that's good, but it's not like winning. What is it mean? So the way that I'm going to have to shuffle with the So I'm not going to accelerate his draws anymore with cold lights at the end. Um, but I will, of course, have infinite fatigue, still. So the plan is going to be to need to keep stuff that cycles very quickly so I can do useful stuff. Uh, so the question is, what should I keep uh, post Strike. Dead Man's Hand? And this is going to require a little bit of extra finesse. So I definitely need a Bring It On. Uh, since the opponent is going to try to kill me. So, Dead Man's Hand, bring. So, Dead Man's Hand, Dead Man's Hand, bring it on. 
Uh, I don't think an execute will be necessary, given that this is that priest. One battle rage will probably be very good. Certainly we don't want that card. Draw three. Right. And we don't want to play Bring It On. Because uh, that could... Well, not until later. Yeah, we have two whirlwinds in our hand. They'll probably both be discarded by Skulking, unless I can find some use for them. Which seems unlikely. I guess that's fine. So I'll go down to seven cards in hand, six cards in hand. Okay. And the opponent looks like they discarded one card. Three whirlwinds? Oh, curious glimmer root. <laughs> okay, we probably don't want to shuffle sleep with the fishes. Uh, I think the only card we keep is slam against the priest. That should be fun. But I also have to worry about slam not finding targets, and then I'll be flooded with slam. Wait, did I not keep any minions? Ooh, that's not good. Potentially. So that means Battle Rage can no longer be good. I think the only thing I'm keeping is actually Bring It On. So the deck is only going to be Dead Man's Hand and Bring It On. Uh, maybe one Execute. Eh, I don't even think Execute, though. going to be really interesting of a finale. So in the finale, I am going to have no card draw, which is a problem. So we should try to filter the deck down as low as possible. I think the deck is going to be two dead man's hand and two bring it on. And that's it. to burn a slip of the fishes for no effect this turn. I'll have plenty of mana, I think. So next turn, if I want my perfect hand of dead man's hand, dead man's hand, bring it on, bring it on, uh, I have to play one, two, three, four cards, and then can still play dead man's hand. So I'm just going to play a sleep of the fishes. This card is worthless. Spells left in the deck. So yeah, I'm not going to keep Execute. And I'm not going to keep these cards. The Slam could be dead, so I'm not going to keep that either. Now the tricky part... Oh, I guess we do... Ooh. Mm. I can't get... Ri oh, I can't... No? Okay, I have to take one Fatigue. So I'm going to do Sleep with the Fishes, Slam, Execute. Because we don't want Slam. And then our hand will be exactly those cards. With no removal whatsoever. Dangerous, but I think it should be okay. That's clearly the cycling version. There's a Valen in there eventually, but uh, we'll keep an Execute, I guess.
almost out of cards. Shadowy thoughts. So yes, the tricky part is going to be I'm only drawing one card a turn, so the mana will be very inefficient. I probably shouldn't have brought it on that fast. Yeah, I should have waited. Let's see, when I was crafting my hand, I needed to have some sort of way to like dump mana. I don't think the Cold Light Oracle, in order to try burning, was wrong. But what was perhaps necessary was finding some way to uh, have some sort of engine. If he had a uh, villain, you surely would have played it by now, right? I guess I'll take the hedge. Oh yeah, I also do need to kill Lyra. What the big threat might have been was actually Lyra, Valen. Yeah, that was the big threat. Thankfully, due to burning Radiant Elemental, this isn't as bad as it could be. How do you get Flame Geyser? Oh, Courier. You're actually fine. And I'm glad I kept Execute, I guess. Are we okay in a world where I no longer have Execute? Well, I mean, I do need to do this. That's fine. So the remaining deck is going to be Dead Man's Hand, Dead Man's Hand, bring it on. So the big flaw of this game, I don't think was playing Cold Light Oracle. That was probably okay. But what was required is keeping Battle Rage on a minion, so that there was some way to have a card draw engine post. I think it was cool taking a different line though. We still haven't lost. Should be noted though. So... On average, each turn we're gaining 5 armor. And he can, on average, only deal 5 damage. Once, uh, I mean, like, he only can only deal, well, yeah. He can deal a total of 5 damage each turn, and he has an extra 6 damage, that's all. Once this gets rolled down. Hopefully you got useless cards like Death and Potion of Madness, which have no target or something. Ah. Ah. Oh! Yeah, so that's three damage a turn. 
<laughs> we did it! That's four in a row! Just one druid stands in the way of 5 0. Got the skulking guys this time. Please don't be aggro. Well, actually, we have uh, Fish's Whirlwind. We're good against either druid. And with the pass, it looks like it's Jade Druid. And he hit me on round one, so Battle Rage is pretty good. Sweet. We got this! 5 and 0! Oh by smashing on everyone's favorite. Whoa, Crypt Lord! Is it a really bad token draw? Or is it the mid range Druid? Which one is it? Really bad... Well, I mean, it's a really bad hand either way. If I play Acolyte of Pain, it would cause me to overdraw. I'll just slam Hero Power. Next turn it might be Coin Geist. Rat? Nine cards, I'll go up to ten cards. Next turn I'll go down to eight cards. The question is, do I think my hand is too full? Probably not quite yet. I'm gonna play the Geist next turn because it's quite possible I'll get rid of Lotus. And with the draw, it's quite possible I'll get rid of Jade Idol. I don't actually know of a deck that runs both Crypt Lord and Nourish. I guess the mid range does. It's been a while since I've played against the mid range version. Oh, this gets rid of my Whirlwind. It's unfortunate. That's fine, it's worth. Darn, didn't get anything. Got rid of two Jade Idols and two Earthen Scales. That's good. So yeah, opponents just got a bad Jade Druid start. And they're running Crypt Lord for some reason. So Fishes clears. Acolyte draws two. It's basically Arcane and Elect here. Oh, that's really good. This Druid list, uh... It's interesting. It's a little bit different. Sleep with the Fishes is looking pretty good here, but maybe we can do even better. How about Public Defender, Blood Razor, Battle Rage? That draws three, and it lets me uh, get a lot of stuff done. Seems good. I could have played Garrosh there, but it was really good to play the Battle Rage while I had a dirty rat wounded guy on the board. Tough to draw three out of that card. And also, while the Garrosh does clear, the Blood Razor clears sufficiently. Also, after playing Garrosh, it's tougher to play Blood Razor. So, for all of those reasons. I 
I could seriously consider playing Dead Man's Hand right now. Alright, this is fine. Two. Five. Bring it on. Dead Man's. I probably don't want to shuffle a random card in the deck. The Garrosh isn't very good to copy, but the rest of the stuff is good enough, and I don't want to overdraw with the Acolyte, so this seems... Alright, next Jade is at 6-6. Six, six. The only question is, do I want to slam or do I want a Whirlwind? Whirlwind lets me keep the slam for next time. That would be pretty good, because then that'll be a 6-6, six, six, I slam it. So that's dead to the fishy, which I want to play anyways, because it's not very good moving forward. And then I guess we kill this. No, I guess we have to execute the, um... And I guess we slam... Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the way to do it, for sure. Oh, I guess we just double fish. Yeah, and then we don't have to have fish later on. I guess we can just double fish, and then we can dead man's hand, because this hand's pretty good. I must choose. This is the first time that I've actually played Dead Man's Hand so early twice on such a mostly disorganized hand. But there's a first for everything. Cool, we'll take that uh, 5-0 and as a graduation from Fatigue Warrior. Woo! I'm sure if we reset the score moving forward, my win rate would be a lot higher. This deck will be a lot better post-patch, I think. And I think it's going to be a deck that will be even worse than Patron Warrior in the hand of the masses, but will ultimately be one of the stronger decks in the field.